Are you still looking for a sign? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. There was once a man named Jerick whose village was suddenly inundated by a flash flood. The water came so suddenly that he barely made it up to his roof. As he was there, he decided to pray to God to have the flood waters subside. As a sign of his faith, he vowed not to move from his roof, placing his complete trust in God to answer his prayers. As the water levels started to rise, there came a big fire truck with several members of his village pleading with him to get on the truck. He passionately said he could not because he had made a vow to stay on his roof as a sign of his faith in God. The fire truck left. As the flood water started to rise even more, a boat came by and was met with the same response from Jerick. The boat could not stay too long as there were other people who needed to be rescued so it left without Jerick. As the flood water reached the roof of the house, a helicopter came by and asked Jerick to get in. He rejected the help again and told them he had put his faith in God and that God would rescue him. Right after the helicopter left, there was a sudden torrential surge that gushed beyond the level of the rooftop and Jerick was washed away. Upon reaching the pearly gates, Jerick approached St. Peter and demanded an explanation from God on why his end of the bargain was not met while he remained faithful even to the point of death. Jerick was asking how God did not even bother to send him a sign. Suddenly, there was a booming voice that exclaimed, I tried to save you three times. I sent the fire truck, the boat, and the helicopter to rescue you. Due to your foolishness, you rejected each one. Had you been more open, not only would your life have been saved, but you would have realized that no one else from your village perished. And after the flood waters washed away your house, you would have discovered a chest full of treasure that was buried underneath it. The moral of the story is that when we force God to respond in a certain way, we will miss out on the real signs and miracles that He allows us to witness each day. In today's Gospel reading, in the book of Matthew chapter 12 verses 38 to 42, some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign. But no sign will be given except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. Jesus was talking about the greatest sign of God's love for us, which is Jesus' death and resurrection. When the scribes were demanding a miracle, Jesus must have been saddened by the disbelief and hard-heartedness of the scribes and Pharisees who, in spite of having witnessed the various miracles he had performed, still remained unbelieving and demanded more signs. On April 5, 2023, during his general audience, Pope Francis said that the cross is the greatest sign of God's love. Unfortunately, just like the scribes, People in today's world continue to have the tendency to ask for more signs. Like Downing Thomas, we tend to have the to see is to believe attitude. When our minds are already set on how we want God to respond, like demanding that He make you win the lottery as a sign of His love, we'll miss out on the many miracles that He allows us to witness and experience. It could be as 
great as walking away unhurt from a deadly car accident or healing from a serious illness. Or it could be as simple as the miracle of being able to wake up each morning. What this story attempts to teach us is that forcing God to respond in a certain way not only deprives us of our experience of God's lavish love and mercy, but also cuts us off from the very unexpected ways God works in our lives. Instead of demanding more signs, let us look at the cross to remind us of the greatest sign of God's love for us and ask God to continue to give us the grace to appreciate not just the big miracles but even the simplest signs that He allows us to, which, to witness each day. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, thanks for your patience in us. Thanks for allowing us to witness miracles after miracles unfold right before our very eyes. We have the tendency to be demanding and so focused on our own ways that we sometimes miss out on the many blessings that you allow us to experience each day. Please continue to give us the uh, sensitivity to recognize and appreciate not just the big miracles, but even the simplest one. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic faith. And God bless couples for Christ.